Hello everyone, this is Roland from ePlan. I often showed you this here in the past. Um, so for those of you who have seen it, you probably saw this earlier, right? I'm, I'm often talking about the smart wiring concept where instead of waiting until the assembly is done and then be able to do the wiring, we actually rethink this whole thing by calculating the wire length and have these wires actually uh, prepared up front. This is exactly what I just did here. I prepared the wires with the WT, which is basically a machine. And here now I can go ahead. I want to talk about the last one minute per wire process here where I'm gonna use smart wiring in this process. So technically once I receive the wires that are prefabricated here by this wire production service, I receive them here, as you can see, these are the wires. I have four bundles, some bigger and smaller wires, and they are all said to be sorted by wire size and wire length. So of course, I will take my ePlan project and run it through ePlan Smart Production. Most of you may know or may not know, once you have routed your project, once I have produced the wires, I can just go here into Smart Production Collection, generate an EPDZ file that will be used by this new service called Smart Production. So the Smart Production is a fairly easy system which actually runs on any given Internet Explorer. Could be a Safari, could be Microsoft Edge, could be anything. And of course, in here, what I do is I open it and I just sign in with my name. And as I sign in, somebody else created the order for me and I can just open that particular order and I can see exactly what was in ePlan now in this Internet Explorer. And I will see every single wire with not only the wire details, but also the specific graphical representation in 3D where I have to land it. And the idea, of course, behind this is to monitor live as I go forward, which wires have been installed. Now, to actually simplify this whole thing, I fabricated or we had these wires fabricated in a certain order. Now, the order was the bigger the wire um, comes second, so the smallest wires first, and then the wire length, the shortest first, and then the longer ones, just simply because they are easy to actually hide in my keyboard find the wire, you can just look up the wire and actually type in something here. Let's say I'm looking for all the wires actually hooked up that to CR71 something. You can go like this. And it's going to narrow it down to CR71 something like that. But otherwise, you can actually go just reset these filters, have it sorted because by default, these are not sorted by what we say here at the wire gauge. So you sort by wire gauge, you sort by length, and you have now the wires exactly as they are in these bundles. So you can see here the source, the target, how they are actually routing from one to each other, how they are actually installed. It's really a cool feature. And the intention, of course, is to pick up one wire after the other and have it done there. Now, for some of you, you may not have this uh, column arrangement that I have here. So. Let me just show you. All you have to do is typically go here to workflow setting, column scheme, and pick the column scheme that actually has the wire length, right? Some of them do, some of them like the default one doesn't have the wire length. How do you create these different column schemes? Let me just show you. So you just start as the administrator. So please ask your administrator on the smart wiring side. So here, I'm just gonna go in as admin. I'm going to log in and your administrator, he most likely knows his password. And then he can go here into the column schemes and create these different column schemes. So it's really nothing that complicated. If you ever have to create one, just create one. Let's say here, this is my WP for my connections. You pick which type of items you want. The number here is usually not necessary. So I just drag and drop it to the left hand side. And what's actually on the right hand side here, and the order is of course quite interesting because you can say, I'm gonna go cross section length color. Why don't we actually add with the color or behind the color, the designation? 
Now you can see one thing. If you have too many of them, it's going to tell you that you don't, you can't put them there. So you can only put a certain number of um, columns in on the right hand side here. So here you can see, okay, it's uh, the space 18 out of 18 is picked. You just create this, done. And the next time around, if you actually load your smart wiring, and this is true for all the colleagues around you, they will have now, when they open the uh, specific order that you created for them, they will actually see these different columns and these column options that you just created. So it's a one-time uh, deal to create it, and then you can open it. And uh, as I said earlier, if you sort them by the wire gauge and by the wire length, then you have them exactly as they are produced, one by one, exactly in the in good order. Sometimes they break. Sometimes the order is not 100% because the machine uh, and the wire, wire is kind of a little bit too heavy for this small tape they have. Um, so it can actually sometimes just break outside of the, the, the tape. It doesn't happen very often. For this, it's always the best ideal solution is to actually get these wire rails. Uh, I mean, technically, if you look at this system here and you, if we zoom in here, you can see here on this picture, this is the wire cart. The wire cart with the wire rails is the optimal solution. But in between, if you don't have it necessarily, you can run with these Velcros that are delivered. It's easier to deliver than these wire rails. And then simply sort, as you can see here in the column scheme, the um, gauge and the length, and everyone's going to be very happy. Now, of course, sometimes opening this project here, we have 200 pages, uh, 200 wires on uh, this uh, small um, uh, panel. Um, it may take a little bit of, a, a little while, but of course, it has it here. It's all nicely sorted. And as I said earlier, it's part of the workflow system column schemes. And here you can just pick whichever column scheme you created and bingo, there you go, it's done. So if you don't have the color, the gauge and the uh, wire size, here you go. You can simply create it like that and sort them by just clicking here on these small items themselves. You can see with the arrow, this is now sorted from the smallest to the bigger ones, from the shortest to the longest ones, and this is exactly how they were produced. Each wire here is now one by one showing how it's done. And when once you install the wires, you just click here, tick and tick. And this will basically allow you to jump always to the next wire. And the status here, the idea is to install all these 200 wires. You may find some wires that are not produced because here we have all the wires, not all the wires available on the machine. The machine could print 202 wires out of these 208 wires. So maybe six of these wires you'll still have to do manually and you can do them. You have all the details, the wire length here, the gauge, the color, everything is there. Remember one millimeter square is the equivalent of 18 American wire gauge, 1.5, 16 American wire gauge, 2.5 millimeter square is a 14 American wire gauge. So I hope this was really helpful, and I hope uh, if you need this service, very easy, just go here, um, wireprint.com. Um, we can probably ship anywhere in the world. Right now we do it primarily for Canada, but if this is of an interest, pick up uh, the phone and call us up or send us an email. Um, so uh, for those YouTube followers, uh, thank you for following. If you do subscribe down there, it's cool because we'll reach the 10,000 mark subscribers. Uh, we are close to get there. We have 100 subscribers left. So please, if you like this video and you want some more, subscribe and you'll see my next video. Thank you. This was Roland from ePlan.